following the name. Get ready to match the stars. Michael Landon. Vicki Lawrence. Jack Klugman. Joanne Flew. Richard Dawson. Anita Gillette. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 73. And here's the host of Match Game 73, Gene Rader. Did you know all your yeah. words at the bar mitzvah with your blue suit? What is that? <laughs> well, I don't know. Once in a while, you got to wear a blue suit, don't you? I mean, yeah, he wore one uh, in, in, in one of the recent show, didn't you? That's I don't own a blue suit. Is there something wrong with this suit, folks? No, no, they, no it's cute. I like it. Thank you. What? Oh, Thank yeah, you. these little buttons. Well, that's because I'm from the East. Did you all know that Anita Gillette has a show coming up in the fall called no, no Bob kidding. and Carol and Ted and Alice? You, what part? You play Bob? Yeah. No, they wanted me to play Ted, but I said, well, I would only play Bob because I'm taller. I see. No, you really play yeah. Alice, right? Wait, now, look at that. We had a girl named Stanley, right? That's we had right. a girl named Phil. Why not a girl Wait till you see this. I want to welcome you to Match Game 73 and welcome our two contenders here. Stanley Viltz, our current champion. And her contender, Gary Wall. This lady has already won $6,750. And uh, we'll wish you good luck. Gary, you've got to tell us. Stanley told us about Stanley. Now you've got to tell us about Gary. How did that happen? Well, my grandmother's name was Garnet, and they nicknamed her Gary, so they named me Gary. I beg your pardon? My grandmother's name was Garnet. Garnet. Oh, like so you're... Stone. I see. I said, that makes as much sense as some of our answers. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. You? Your grandmother was Stone, did you no, say? No, 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 no. My <laughs> grandmother was okay, her name was Garnet. Sounds like a wonderful I thank you, Gary, and I wish you the best of luck. Well, we'll get back to these two ladies in just a minute. As we begin here, there's one thing we left out, Gary. Uh, tell us what you do to keep your body and soul together. I'm a bartender. See, there's a bartender <laughs> named Gary there. Okay. Is this what's my line? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Ladies, now both of you are going to try to match our six celebrities in answering questions. You're going to get two chances. At the end of the second round, whoever has matched the most celebrities wins, gets $100, and the right to go to our super match where you can win over $5,000. Okay, now here we go with round one. And Gary, the challenger, makes the selection. So would you go ahead, please? A. A is her selection. Everyone plays. This is it. If he could, John would have two blanks. If he could, John would have two blanks. Oh. All right, the southpaw is the last one writing. Now he is ready, and here we go. We'll call for Gary Wall's response. If he could, John would have two... Wives. Two wives? See, what do you expect from a bartender named Gary? Then? Two wives. All right, let's see if she scores with that. Mike, what do you say? Well, I guess everybody scores all around. Uh, oh, very good, wives. Gary. That's a good <laughs> response, according to Mike. And what do you say, Vicky? You can't trust a man. They'd like to have two wives. Ah! Another match for you. Okay, Jack. I'm trying to get rid of one. Who wants two? <laughs> two cars. I like two cars. That. Okay, no match with him. Two Let's see if you match Joanne. Well, I have Mormons in my background, so I said wives. Wives. <laughs> Another one for you. Richard Dawson. Mormons in your background, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly got a nice tabernacle up front if you don't mind. Like Yeah, I didn't want to commit them, so I yeah, picked girls. Okay. <laughs> and we're looking for wives. Anita, what have you got? Well, that's just what I put. Wives. Wives, oh, another wow. one. Yeah. Gary, you did well. Four for you there. Okay. Stanley, your half of it goes this way. Sally went for a swim in the blank. Sally went for a swim in the blank. All set over there? 
All right, now our celebrities are ready, and Stanley will ask you for your answer. I have to say nude. You have to say nude. Okay, let's see if that scores for you. Mike Landon? Park Cartwright will never forgive me for saying nude. Nude? All right, Stanley, you've got one match there now. Vicki Lawrence. That's the only way to swim. <laughs> We're finding out a lot about these people, aren't we? Okay. Jack, what do you say? Did Vicky have an address over there? A nude, I said, nude. All right, so we have three nude bathers up there, and let's see what we have down here. Joanne. I fully clothed, and I go swimming in the lake. In the lake. <laughs> now, <Boring>. Richard. <laughs> Who cares? Do you ever get trending letters from Lloyd Bridges? <laughs> El Toto Nudo. Nudo. So there's another one for you, and that ties the score at the moment, Anita. Well, um, I, I've never been swimming in, in, uh, in the ocean, but I think you could go nude swimming in the ocean. No, no match there, so the score is tied four to four, and now let's go to round two. All right, challenger, make the selection. I'll stay with A. You'll stay with A. It treated you well last time. You matched four of our celebrities, Mike, Vicky, Joanne, and Anita. Now you'll be trying to match Jack and Richard. John likes blank movies. John <laughs> likes blank movies. The gentlemen are ready. Gary, are you? <laughs> I'll have to say dirty. You say dirty movies. Well, you wouldn't expect these clean, living, high-minded fellas to say dirty movies. <laughs> We're going to find out right now. John likes Jack. Did you call Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs a dirty movie? <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, I said porno. <laughs> and it's nothing dirtier than a porno movie. I'll tell you that. Our judges rule that Jack. that does match her answer dirty. So there's one match for you, Gary. And now let's call on Richard here. Well, between you, me, and the bartender. <laughs> Stanley, the score is six to four in favor of Gary. You must match the remaining two celebrities whom you did not match in the first round. That is Joanne and Anita. Here we go. Johnny's blank got caught in a tree. <laughs> That's smart. Johnny's blank got caught in a tree. Let that be a lesson to him. I see Anita has finished. Joanne has just finished. Right. Okay. All right, now they're ready. Now we'll call for Stanley's answer. Kite. His kite got kite. caught in the tree. All right, you must match both celebrities to stay in the running. And we'll begin with Joanne. Well, I thought when you climbed in a tree, if you fell, your foot got caught. Your foot got caught. That does not match. So our winner is Gary Wells. <laughs> Well, Stanley here is not going away empty-handed, is she? She has a total of $6,500. You are a marvelous Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now you've got your $100, and more important, you've got the right to try for our super match, which can pay over $5,000. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Okay, we'll get to that right after this. I had a momentary and slight case of dyslexia as our champion was leaving, and instead of saying 6,750, I said 6,570, and I don't want to do that. She does have, indeed, $6,750. And now, let's get to the business at hand with this super match for you. We're going to start the whole thing, and are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, now we polled a previous studio audience and got their best response to this. <laughs> Prince blank. Now, the most frequent response given by that audience is worth $500 if you can match it. The second most common answer, $250. The third, $100. Now, whatever you win here is yours to keep, but then more important than that, you can go on to try for 10 times your winnings. That is, if you happen to match the $500 response, that means you'll have a shot at $5,000. The panel is going to help you. 
All right, we're going to ask you to choose three celebrities one at a time and get their suggested responses. You may select one now. Joanne. Prince Philip. Prince Philip is her response. And number two? Richard Dawson. Richard. Uh, Prince Charming. But Prince enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Charming. Okay. And the third one. Anita. Um, Prince... Oh, that was... That's not right. Uh, Prince... That's what I was going to say, Prince Charming. What Prince Spaghetti. I don't know. <laughs> I beg your pardon? No more drinks. <laughs> Princess. You can't think of another prince? prince uh, oh, Prince Charlie. Prince Charlie. Bonnie, Charles, Charlie, Charles. Oh, Prince Charles. Yeah, the, oh uh, the I was going to say the Prince of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you got three there now, Gary, you've got uh, Prince Philip, Wales. Prince Charming, and Very Prince good. Charles. Now, you can pick one of those or discard them all and give us one of your own if you wish, but now we call for one response. Prince Charming. Prince Charming is what she says. Now, let's find out how that audience responded. We're looking for Prince Charming. May we see the $100 response? <laughs> Prince Albert. You remember him. <laughs> Certainly do. All right, we're still looking for Prince Charming. May we see the $250 response? Valiant. Prince Valiant. <laughs> oh, <it was> Ronald <laughs> Wagner. <laughs> Poor devil. All right, uh, we still haven't come to it. Here's your third and last chance. We're looking for Prince Charming. May we see the $500 response? Yeah. Charming! Richard Dawson, who gave it to you. That's the one you picked. The $500 is yours, and you can now play for $5,000. Now, come over here. Don't be afraid just because I'm a star to stand real close. I do mean that, not that close, but I want you to hear what I'm saying here. To collect the $5,000, you must match one of our celebrities and match that star head to head. Now, let's pick a celebrity. Michael Landon. Mike Landon is your choice, all right. I'll get the question, here it is. Listen carefully now, Mike, he's going to write. You'll face me while he's writing. Dog blank, dog blank, it's D-O-G. Putting me on. Blank, no. <laughs> Mike, this is a serious moment there. Dog blank, all right. Mm -hmm. He has finished his answer. All right, now we'll call for your response, uh, Gary. Dog catcher. Dog catcher is her answer. Mike Landon, for $5,000, show us your answer. Well, after you catch them, you gotta feed them. Dog food is what she said. They're both very good answers. I'm sorry you didn't make that match, Gary, but you still have your winnings of $600, and you're not through yet because you're gonna take out a new challenger, and let's meet your challenger now. Sherry Calabria. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry, this is Gary Walls. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a farmer teacher. I'm married, and I'm the mother of twin two-year-old boys. <laughs> I guess that uh, keeps you busy around yes. the house. Now, you know how we play this game? Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's go to round one. Now, as the challenger, you make the selections. B. B is her choice. Everyone participates, and this is it. John and Mary <clears throat> have the strangest dog. He's half chihuahua and half blank. Did you hear that, Sherry? Yes. John and Mary have the strangest dog. He's half chihuahua and half blank. It can't be done. All right, everybody ready? No, they're all writing up there on the top tier. Jack is ready now. Okay, we're all set. Sherry, may we call for your response now? He's half Chihuahua and half... German Shepherd. <laughs> okay. All right. I wouldn't make a comment on that, but if you... All right, Mike Landon. May we have your response? I do not doubt that that's probably true, and that's what has caused him to go half crazy. <laughs> half chihuahua and half crazy is his answer. <laughs> 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 
Sherry is looking for the answer, uh, German Shepherd. Vicky, may we see your answer? I don't. I said St. Bernard. Saint Bernard. <laughs> he drinks a lot. <laughs> All right, Jack. I have a dog that yeah. walks like this. Because this half is a Chihuahua, and this half is a Great Dane. A Great Dane? I don't know. What the hell So we're looking for German Shepherd. Joanne, may we see your answer? Well, when you read it, it sounded like half Chihuahua and half Bulldog. Half Bulldog. <laughs> see, we, you know, we've had four different answers so far. Richard Dawson, what do you say? My manager eats dog food, you know. He does? Why is that? I don't know, but yes, he got killed chasing a car. Uh, I wrote crazy. Crazy? Well, that's a second time. Al Loco. Yeah. All right, Anita, well, we're looking for German Shepherd. Well, I was going to say he was half Chihuahua and half Jewish, but I changed my mind and I said he's Irish Wolfhound. Irish Wolfhound. <laughs> that would make a crazy company. Well, we got some pretty large varieties of dog there, didn't we? We did get no match, however. And uh, we'll go to Gary Wall's question right after this. <laughs> now let's see what happens as we finish round one here. Are you ready, Gary? All right, here is your assignment. Everyone participates. Listen carefully. John said, thank goodness there's a blank right around the corner. John said, thank goodness there's a blank right around the corner. Okay. <laughs> you must learn to plan ahead, my dear. Oh, I know. Oh, I start off very big. Okay. okay we need egg. Now, uh, they're all finished, Gary, so we'll get your response now. John said, thank goodness there is a... Bar. Bar right know, around the I corner. Know. And I guess that would be logical for Gary, the bartender, to say that. Mike Lang, what do you say? I always go to Gary's place. All right. The bar. bar it is. That's one match for you, Gary. And Vicky. I figured, obviously, Gary would say bar. Okay. And Jack? I've lived around so many bars, I finally had to go to a doctor. I think uh, that's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you scored oh, twice, Gary. That. Now, Joanne? I'm always having trouble with my car, so I said a gas station. Gas is convenient to have those in the neighborhood. Did you out the garage? Is <laughs> <laughs> the headache still with you, dear? <laughs> When I put say? a bar in the back of my car, and I'm driving myself to drink. That is it. Bar. <laughs> bar, it is another match for you. And Anita. Well, I said exactly the same thing, bar. Bar. You did very well, Gary. And so you picked up four matches that time at the end of round one. Our current champion, Gary, is ahead. Four to nothing. Now let's go to round two. All right, Sherry, you must match four celebrities to stay in the game, so make a selection. B it is, and here we go. Since you match no one in the first round, everyone will play this time. Sally had blank fingernails. Sally had blank fingernails. I'll set over there. Now, Sherry, may we have your answer, please? Long. Sally had long fingernails is her response. And let's see what your response is, Mike. Remember, you must match four celebrities to stay in the running here. Go. I think they certainly were long. Long. Uh, there is one. Vicky. Since I would like very much to have them, I said long. Long. OK, that's wishful thinking. That works for you, Sherry. How about you, Jack? That's why they were hard to clean when they were dirty. Dirty. <laughs> Okay. That's some of the girls I've been going out with. Uh, all right. You need two more to stay in the running. Joanne. I like long fingernails, too, so I said long. All right. You've got one more to go here. And Richard. Please understand. Have you been seeing my girl? <laughs> now, you must have. match Anita to stay in the game. Anita, may we see your answer, please? Well, fingernails are not one of my best quality, but when I want them, I put on false ones. So, our winner is Gary Wall. Well, Sherry, we say goodbye to you. We have a gift waiting for you backstage. Together with our thanks for playing Match Game 73. There she goes. dollars for you for winning the game and a chance at our super match remember it can pay over five thousand dollars we congratulate you for that now 
we ask a previous studio audience for their best response to this. Chicken blank. Chicken blank. The top response pays 500, second 250, and the third 100. All right, now select three celebrities and get their best response. Jack. Crooked. Livers. Chicken livers, he says. Well, number two. Uh, Vicki Lawrence. Chicken soup. Thank Chicken you. soup is what she says. <laughs> Your third. Uh, Richard Dawson. Richard, what do you say? Chicken? Chicken little. Chicken little. You got chicken livers, chicken soup, chicken little. Let's see how that... Now, you take one of those or give us one of your own, but now we call for one answer, please. I was going to say chicken delight. Chicken delight? You want to say that? Yeah, I'll say it. All right, that's her answer. Chicken delight. We're looking for that. May we see the $100 response? Chicken delight it is for $100. and we'll be back with you right after this. Thank you for being with us. Gene Rayburn saying so long for Match Game 73. Today's consolation prizes are a timely gift from West Clock, 17 Jewel Roman Sport Ladies Wrist, and Boston Gold Color High Fashion from West Clock, the Valley Industries Company, and new No Drip Good Humor, rich, creamy tasting ice cream specially made to melt slow, drip less. Doesn't mess you up, that's good humor. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 73, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production.